A man of personality can formulate ideals, but only a man of character can achieve them. I can imagine no society which does not embody some method of arbitration. Progress is measured by richness and intensity of experience, by a wider and deeper apprehension of the significance and scope of human existence. Progress is measured by the degree of differentiation within a society. That is why I believe that art is so much more significant than either economics or philosophy, it is the direct measure of man's spiritual vision. The modern work of art, as I have said, is a symbol. The sensitive artist knows that a bitter wind is blowing. Man is everywhere still in chains. The sense of historical continuity, and a feeling for philosophical rectitude cannot, however, be compromised. If the individual is a unit in a corporate mass, his life is not merely brutish and short, but dull and mechanical. The farther a society progresses, the more clearly the individual becomes the antithesis of the group. Morality, as has often been pointed out, is antecedent to religion it even exists in a rudimentary form among animals. The principle of equity first came into evidence in Roman jurisprudence and was derived by analogy from the physical meaning of the word. What I do deny is that you can build any enduring society without some such mystical ethos. I know of no better name than anarchism. The characteristic political attitude of today is not one of positive belief but of despair. Art is pattern informed by sensibility. The only sin is ugliness, and if we believe this with all our being, all other activities of the human spirit could be left to take care of themselves. Nobody seriously believes in the social philosophies of the immediate past. To realize that new world we must prefer the values of freedom and equality above all other values, above personal wealth, technical power and nationalism. In the evolution of mankind there has always been a certain degree of social coherence. You might think that it would be the natural desire of every man to develop as an independent personality. But this does not seem to be true. The slave may be happy, but happiness is not enough. I have not the slightest doubt that this form of individuation represents a higher stage in the evolution of mankind. Creeds and castes, and all forms of intellectual and emotional grouping, belong to the past. I call religion a natural authority, but it has usually been conceived as a supernatural authority. 